Hey, love bugs, it's rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope to save you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it is truly truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while i have not already please drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and um if you feel like the videos oh no if you've been with me for a while and you haven't you know and you just so happen to stumble on my videos you know drop a line i'll appreciate you um and if you feel like the videos are just uplifting to you give you a good vibe give a thumbs up and share I greatly appreciate it send in love blessings vibes whatever you're truly needing to you know really keep consistent with yourself you know staying on your purpose is so important so whatever you're really needing towards your life to be consistent with that persistent ded dedicated as well as motivated you know hey i'm sending it towards your way a million times so anything that you may be going through right now um i'm sending prayers towards you about anything that you're going through it to get to it you know um, you, you're going to make it out of this just giving you so much love and comfort in any kind of way that you truly need I'll send it towards your way and as well as anybody who's coming in any low vibrations or whatever that is trying to destroy distract divide you know it, it, whatever uh then me trying to be the best version of myself i'm gonna turn that back to center we're in time for except prayers love blessing and healing that i'm sending towards your way as well so the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey oka is being the mirror of hope that was beautiful. I, I forgot what video I was doing. And I'm like, oh, hold up. They was like, write that down, write that down. I was like, okay. You know, so I was just like, hold on, y'all, my bad. You know, every once in a while I do that. You know, be in the mirror of hope because there's so many people out here, they feel like anything, nothing good can happen to them. Basically because, they, you know, either they have gone through different things into their life uh, to where they really don't feel nothing's good going to come out of it. Or there's just the fact is that, you know, they've been told to the point where they've been heavily programmed that anything that they reach and is going to create something very amazing or abundantly in their life can never be possible. Your dreams are too big. I always feel like, I was, my mom always told me as well as I told my kids as well, anything, so I can be president, yeah, you work hard to be there, shoot, Trump was there, and you might as well be able to do it too. But I'm like, shoot, anybody can be able to do that if they really want it to you apply your you apply your pressure become pressure know that you are pressure you like what you bring to the table i am the table the you know the legs you know the, the coffee table you know the coffee mat whatever you want to call it tablecloth you know the 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 rings off the napkins as well as the napkins and the centerpiece i'm all that you know and be able to know that and i mean it's just not about you being arrogant or you know you looking beneath you know like people are beneath you know you have to have that kind of confidence in yourself to be able to do that and you work on that every day you know whatever i'm going through i'm going to go through to get to Whatever I'm slacking into now is going to be my drive for tomorrow. Whatever my setback was yesterday is going to be my overclub, uh, overcome abundance today. I'm thriving, profiling, styling, you know, in my motivation, my preparation, you know, to be ultimate dedication. One of those different type of things. But there's so many different things of people in life where they don't believe in themselves. They don't have that faith that, you know, I can't really achieve this. And I was just like, you know, God will put so many images in your head and being able to tell you this can happen. He don't want you to figure out point A to point B, point C. You got to know everything right now. But just being able to say we have to have faith in Him. Being able to allow ourselves to live off, you know, him as well as you know our intuition trust and believe in ourselves you know there'll be different things they he, him and the devil i already told you that you know you've been with me for a while you hear me say this devil and god go hand in hand but they got two different agendas you know and those are different things god will live some he, he will put you in a storm just to be able to know you created a storm why do you think so many people are named after storms well i mean storms are named after people you know those are different things but the devil is he see all that's going and showing up in you you're like oh hell to the no you cannot be able to do this you know what i'm saying you know but he want to send so much doubt into you but if he knows that God can make something that powerful. He wants you to be able to go on his team. He was like, if that person be all heavenly like that, how you can think he'd be hellion? You know, all this nefarious and stuff like that. You know, I want him on my team because I already know this will this, this be part of the Red Sea and I'll be able to say it was me and not God. 
notice some little stupid stuff like that with his low black person right here. But anyways, you know, you just going through those different things in life and being able to tell people there's so many different people. I told so many different times I said it. My quote is always you never be be that person that can be inspiring towards yourself to where you can be bold enough to be able to share that with other people on the different things that you mean in life. You can be that golden kid. You can be that that holy coin. Holy Grail, whatever you want to call it, and being able to show people, I went through the worst of the worst. I had this and this and that against me going towards me. You know, it was just me and myself, and I had a gazillion things coming at me all at one time. You know, and it was just, I stayed prayed up, you know, be different times. I doubted myself, different times I hated God, different times I hated myself. You know, hated my life, just feeling like, why do I have to constantly go through this? Da, 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 da. And then some kind of miracle when I got off my own, you know, got off my own pedestal of wanting to be feeling sorry for myself, you know, wanting to be seen as a victim or whatever. I had to be able to kick my own butt in gear and being able to say only you can create what you need to create and I mean really create where you want that to keep piling up you want to be able to keep flowing through that you want to be able to be be that ultimate blessing because it'll be just you know what it took to be where you were you probably were homeless you probably had people anytime you had something somebody was stealing something from you it will be different times where you would be happy and confident you would be able to win something and then somebody was constantly sabotaging you or somebody sitting up here and constantly seeing you doubt it'll be those times where it's just showed me I can be able to be my own cheerleader. I can encourage myself. I don't need you to bring me down. I, I can be bad on my own. To be that song, I don't need nobody to help me start to death. You know, I can do all bad by myself. Be those different things. If you can be that one that's supported and you ain't reciprocated because that person is scared what you become. They don't want you to discover what is instilled into you. So you be that different person and be like this. I can stand on my own. I can, you know, I, I, I can enrich myself I can embody myself these are the different things that I do embody I just had to go through so much to be able to find it because God we end up showing you that mirror of hope these are the different things I'm telling you see the reflection of your perfection that you can be your imperfect of perfection you know ain't nobody perfect out here but you perfectly you you know you were molded in that type of way when you know you can bring, bring something from the dirt you know really truly bring something from the dirt and create something so powerful so magical so ooh, ooh, wait a minute that you gotta just give me that increments you know it'll be something like that and being able to tell people you are an inspiration to be inspiring towards other people because when you can open up your mouth and tell somebody this is what i went through this is what my struggle was this is what my setback was this is what my overcome was these are the different things i had to face these are different things i had to let go of these are different things i had to cut ties with these are different people i had to leave alone these are different people i had to hold close these are the different things that i had to be able to go through to get to where i had to go through you know and those are the different things you were end up telling people it is never a time where it's too late for you to learn something even when you make mistakes every day and you learn it from these mistakes or you keep seeing these the same reoccurring things and you wonder on why things are not working out and you had to understand these are the different things that I felt up in my life that I wasn't secure in or these are the different things I allowed myself to speak speak ahead of myself and tell somebody that clearly didn't have my back or different things where I wished on something and somebody else and that mess came right back on me. These are the different things that took place into life where you had to go through that change and being able to tell somebody. Ooh, confirmation. You had to be able to go and tell somebody that um, you can go through these different things, especially when you know you're honest about some stuff and being very transparent. When I tell you that can be a threat for somebody intimidation for somebody but that can be a, a, a voice of grace to somebody's like oh my god this person is telling because there's a lot of times people don't want to open that part of them because they're worried about how people perceive them how would they be seen how what would they think about me i ain't got time for all that because you can tell somebody who you are and what you are and they only going own up their own definition of how they truly want to see you you know and that is what it is you you know they, they, how they say you are i am what you think i am you know and i'm like okay but i know who i am so it don't matter but it'll be those different things where you had to see you you know I, i've been a type of person hey i always met you know i always worried about what people think because that was instilled in me to a certain period of time you you know all those different things you did back in the day you know what if you ever became famous would you want people to know these different things you need to stop doing all these different things and it would make me feel so ashamed of myself because of choices i made but nobody is perfect how are you gonna ever learn these are the certain things you shouldn't have did or these are the different things you, you should be able to know that only god can judge you 
you know, and I've said it before, many times before, there'll be people that got a whole, have a, you know, want to, they don't want to address the elephant in the room. Shoot, they have go Barbara and Bailey Circus right here and daggone St. Louis Zoo up in here. Or, you know, people got a daggone cemetery and they got a whole plane of thriller back now. And it'll be, I mean, it's like the night of the living dead, 28 weeks later, 28 days later, 28 meetings later, and 28 of the 28. You know, and 24. You know, it'll be one of those different things. And it'll just be like, shoot, what am I going to be mad? You think I'm going to be worried about you because you judge me because we sin differently? No, I'm not worried about that. I know my sins, just like you know your sins, but me, I have no problem with allowing my sins to be shown. It's like, I don't care about people knowing I used to dance for years and just be like that. Shoot, that was like, shoot, shake mama, mama gave me and it was dollar chance. And it was those different things, you know. And those are the different things I did because I had kids I had to take care of. There's different things that I had to do. That wasn't something I was proud of doing. And ain't no, putting no shame on anybody who chooses to do that. I'm like, shoot, where the dollars at? Go ahead, make the money moves and let it flow. You know, if it's drizzling or it's a little sprinkly or it's just a little drop. You know, hey, you know, work on it to do it with whatever you need to do. But it's just at that point when you can allow yourself to be transparent like that because there's so many people are out there that programs you to worry about. You don't allow that to be exposed. And you wonder why folks, you get famous and folks be digging for something just to be able to find on you so they can go ahead and talk I'm like shoot let me be famous hell I'm gonna told on myself what are you gonna do cash on something I already done told you're like oh yeah you did yeah I did you just did yes I sure did I'm just not gonna tell you where I was what my, name, my stage name was it ain't none of your dad gonna business it's just the fact is I told you I was there you know and it was all right you know, and it'll be those different things. You know, yeah, you, you were addicted to pain pills. Yes, I surely was. I, I had an opiate, opiate addiction. I got hit by a drunk driver and almost killed me. Well, actually, he did kill me, and I revived myself five minutes later. You know, my whole left side was crushed. Soon, you know, I had to have jaws of life even get me out, and this was the 3rd of July. You know, so different things on stuff like that. Yeah, I was. You know? It would be those different things. Yeah, I sat up here and wrote checks, shoplifted and stuff like that. I had to make sure my kids were good. I had to make sure I didn't disappoint them for the, for the birthday and Christmas and stuff like that. This is not stuff that I was proud about. But it was just the point is, I can tell you I don't do that mess no more. Where we at, they put your ass in the newspaper. I ain't trying to be embarrassed like that. And I say, you know, that's a good point. Because you worry about, you know, I ain't worried about what people will ask me. I just don't have no proof to be. You know, be one of those different moments. I've been there before. I was like, shoot. I'm like, girl, you know, why was we don't found a bug shot on her? Oh, hell, she done told us about that all the time ago. You know, like domestic violence beating somebody ass. You know, shoplifting. And, um, yeah, domestic violence beating somebody ass. You know, be one of those different things. So, yeah, I've been there before. I ain't proud. Those are the different things I'm proud of being able to say. You know, it's like, hey, what's your name? Cell block one, two, three, four, five, you know, dash two, dash two. It was like, what's with your nickname? Pina, T. Jerry. You know, it'd be one of those different things that's going on in life. But it'd just be the fact is, you be proud of how far you have come. If this is not your life no more, you don't upgraded yourself 20, 20 years ago, you know, 20 years ago from what you are now. You know what I'm saying? And that was almost like 20, yeah. Ooh, shit, that was 20 years ago. Maybe, ooh, God. <laughs> Maybe just like make me feel some type of way. But those of you the different things that took place in my life. That is like I was showing the mirror of hope. I went through these things. They don't mean now if you have a thing like I said, hey, people wanna be, you know, the, 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 the you know, the medicine supply, the you know, the ice cream man. If you back in the day you understand what the ice cream man was. You know, or it's, it was ice cream man back in the day in my day growing up, and it's the plug today. If this is what you choose to do, hey, baby, do what you do. Just be safe. Don't sit up here and poop where you eat at and don't eat where you poop at. You know, have their place in two different places or you're going to get caught. Like, shoot, I don't trust me. I, I know, you know. But it'll be different things just like that. You know, I don't push judgment on anybody. Now, you ask me my opinion, and I shall tell you your truth. It may piss you off, but, hey, you'll appreciate it in the long run. But it'll be those different things. It's like, shoot, I did it. And, you know, I ain't worried about what person says. It's like, oh, you bragging about that. No, I ain't bragging about it. But the fact is, there's too many people walking around here tiptoeing, worrying about what the next person think. And I guarantee you, they're the ones that's just far more worse than you. And they judging you, and I guarantee you, open that door if you want to. You be having a daggone circus and daggone, it'll be poltergeist the legacy up in that mess. And you just don't know when you're trying to sit up here and judge me. You know, I'm like, okay. And those are the different things that take place into your life and just being able to say, I allowed myself to be transparent. 
allowed myself to be very straightforward even you know if they, you know if that sip was a little bit too much it's like it's all all drink no chaser you know you have to be able to embody what I'm talking about at, at 150 million percent proof if you can't take that baby take your butt clear off the bar <laughs> all out the kitchen because I'm not gonna water myself down for no one no one okay it'll be one of those different situations but just being able to say how I opened up there's different times where I've been here and people respected me more because they see you rousing you silly. I got that hey yoga vibe in me. I don't want to be all serious and textbook. You know, be those different things while I'm long getting every word and hoping you're educated. Be those different things. I keep keep it straight show. You know, I be telling people, shoot, I have the dumb it down dot com for me. You know, but I want to be able to say it because people are like rousing. You just say stuff so simple, and I said that's what I do because I be going off somebody else's video and I be having to pull up the goddamn on Google real quick. What the hell is this? What? What? Uh, okay, I, I'm gonna pause this real quick and go look and see what he's talking about. You know, those different things. It can be like, oh, you perfect and this and this. And I was like, oh, you smell the fart or you smell something that was funky and then you had to step back, press pause or whatever. You know, be just like that. You know, just be straight to the point. You know, but those are different things that take place into your life and being able to say, yes, we have dark moments. We have had some things that really shook us to the core. But you know, if you can sit up here and make the book and a damn movie off of it, you don't know how many people like, look, you, you, let me go buy that book. Because that person was just so rough and raw with it, didn't care about what people thought of that person, he or she. You know, they really, you know, they really wore their heart on their sleeve, but it was in a very genuine way, a very positive way. Being able to say that, because there'll be so many times y'all don't probably see me over here crying, or it'll be something where I can feel the energy come up. And it was something that really hit me and that was very passionate, or it could have been very hurtful or sad. It, it could have been my, my energy, or just the people that I already knew that was going to watch it. Because I see how people live through pain every single day. And it'll be at that point where I can be negative all I want to. Or especially if it's directed towards me, I can really be that way. But it's at that time and place where I, I cannot allow myself to judge nobody. I cannot. Even when it is the enemy is directed at me. I was at a point where I was there. But I had to be able to see that from the other end. This is what could take place. You know, this is where this can be if you do this, or this is what you can be is when you do that. And this is, you know, you can be, you, you know, we're our own worst critic, we're our own worst enemy. We can bury our own daggone selves, you know what I'm saying? And it'd be one of those different things in life where you can really see where that doom and gloom could be if you don't sit up here and straighten up and fly right. If you don't allow yourself to, you know, you hurting yourself, people think, you know, if I hurt that person. It, it can stop them, it can block them, and stuff like this. And it's just like, and I, you know, and I, I, I try to say it in the most passionate way. Whatever is God for God, you know, whatever is from God is always going to be for that person. There's just because you don't support them, don't mean they will never succeed. Just because you block some, don't mean that blessing will never come. Just because you try to stand in front of that door, if that person orders that door, they're either going to trample on you or knock you aside. Like, move the heck out the way. This is mine this ain't yours you know and then go ahead and keep forward about it or it'll be those different things all those things wrapped up together be the main thing that's going to be your drive because obviously it's like you know when you, you you are a powerful person if there's a million things coming at you just at once and you're just a one person and it'll be those different times where we see you know gosh it's so painful and it's so lonely and it's just like as soon as I bring people in my life they leave as quick as they got there if I really show them who I truly am what my purpose is all of a sudden it's judgment jealousy and I have to deal with ego or it'll be somebody sending threats at me or sending some pure putting some hoodoo voodoo on me or trying to block every blessing I have coming in my life even when I was nothing but transparent and friendly and loving towards that person or even if it's just the fact is that you know you, you they hear them word from mouth and all of a sudden they done got a get along gang of hate hate groups on you you know and that makes you know you are a very powerful person you are very powerful and it's just like god doesn't allow want to allow you to feel like what it is so wrong about you and they're like baby take a pause look at what is so right about you that's all you want to be able to know that's what you want to be able to know holding that mirror of hope because there'll be so many different things when stuff come at you like that you, it'll make you think so negative of yourself like why every time I turn around there's always I'm always brought in drama be different things like I can say to myself be different time I open up my bag on mouth you can say something so positive and it'll be just like I remember who was it that said that spiritual gangster said that what is his name god dog it's like why I K850 
I, I forgot, but it's a spiritual game, so I'll just say that. But he said it used to play a game in school where it was the whispering game. You can say one, you know, one word, and the next person say the one word, the next person say another word, and next you know you say a phrase, and then take it all the way back. And by the time it get right back to the main person, it ain't nothing what you said. And that's what it is. It's like especially if people see you and they fear you, intimidate you, and stuff like this, and they will have no problem inserting yourself into some drama. But oh, she said or he said, and it could be something like, "Dad, I love that person's energy." I I wish I could embody with that with myself. They're so they're so transparent and they're so open about stuff. And they be like, you know, by the time I get to that person, girl, let me tell you what such and such said about you. They sit up here and say, you fake, you phony, you low vibrational, you, you know, you having to pay for attention to get this this way. And it will be just that person. It's just the fact is when it comes, it, you don't even have to be, you, you can be that, that person who, I forgot the word I want to use, but you can be the scapegoat. You weren't even about that life, about even trying to show that, you know, that vibe of that, whatever they felt like they had to be able to produce on saying this is what you said, you know. But it'll be that person, they were already, they were already a thorn in the side because they see every time this person just keep adding more, you know, they just add more abundance towards their life and they're really trying to understand how come we don't set so many traps up that they didn't fall for or how come we don't embody them in some kind of damnation and they still keep rising up they embodying something you know they they you know saying affirmations about themselves or all these beautiful things and these are the different things that are coming up into their life it's like you don't think i know that you don't place me in something or you don't think i know that you you know you low-key hate me you low-key jealous of me or you see me as a threat or you fear what i do or you fear what i actually become you know, it could be different times you'll see somebody or so it'd be somebody you thought it was really cool with, like, oh, this is my age, you know, we go back like four flats and stuff like that. And you see it like, hey, can you support me on this? Like, uh, you know, give me a minute or yeah, I'll go ahead and do it. Just send me the, the whatever this this is. And that person will have every excuse, like a every excuse. I'm about to slip up and say something. But I'm like every excuse trying to say something about the reason why they ain't did it. But then it comes it let it it could be something that you just need it on, you know, like hey, like my situation. Share a video of mine. On you, you know, off of YouTube or share a podcast of mine from Anchor, you know, and let them know. You know, I'm just trying to share the awareness. You know, there's so many people out there becoming woke and they really just find out about themselves and they're trying to feel like, is there other people out here? Is this normal what I go through? And knowing I have a very positive platform, you know, there's just times, you know, I act a fool, you know, want to be funny and stuff like that, want to be able to have you, you know, itching and giggling until it's all funny until somebody start itching on themselves or whatever like that. But it's very positive, it's very transparent, and there's a lot of things that people can say you know what oh my god I you're you're telling my story right now and just for you being able to do that they fear that but oh no they can't be one of these high priced you know commentators or you know kind what it what, what I forgot what they call us over here you know uh influence social media influencers and stuff like that to be able to do something I want her up there with you know uh you know swan you know till swan or you know uh what, what's his name smart God dog Robert Smart. Oh Lord, I forgot that man's name. The, you know the Ildris Alba guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's from. You know he's a black guy, but his last name I forgot what his name is because I haven't watched him in a while. Or he wants you like you know Aaron Dodry or you know Victor Otto or something like that. No, I can't have them breathing out like this like two seconds. And they already got 29 million of daggone views on their stuff, and there's people still subscribing to that person and they buying all their merch. You know, no. And there'll be those, there'll be the other people to be having a dry cleaning service or a hair plaster and be sitting up here sharing all their stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, didn't I help you do this, 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 and this, and that? And it was for free for me to be able to do that. I'm not saying that they had to buy or whatever, do that. But my stuff was for free. All I did is ask you to do that. And there's a lot of times that can make you really hurt. It'll be hurtful. You know, I've gone through stuff like that. You couldn't even do that for me. And I mean, I, I mean, I don't wear all the way out for you. And I'm not saying you had to do a tit for tat. Like, if I do something for you, you do something for me. And, it, you know, I've had other people that I've done that for. And it didn't even have to be here. You know, I could have gave a wad of money to somebody. I'm like, hey, you know, it's like, oh, I, I, you know, I can't accept this. I can't pay it back. I said, no. But when you get good, if I get in a situation like that, hook a sister up. Don't, you know, don't leave me behind. And as soon as I'll be dead, as soon as that person was living it up and made it well, do you think, oh, I can't do it? And it'll be the main ones that just gave me every excuse. So, and it could be family. And, you know, and it just didn't have it. And he could have had it and just didn't want to share it to it. And then they said, you know, you up here. Oh, and then made sure that you knew. 
that they did that. You know, oh, I gave this out. I said, oh, but when I had a problem, I mean, even though I know family come first, regardless on certain when it comes to certain situations. But if that, where was your family at when you needed all that help? You know, it's like, oh, you you blocking blessings by saying, no, I'm just asking for you. You know, why did this have to be like that? You know, be those different things, and it just showed me, hey, that is not your friend. But you tested that. But don't take away that blessing you gave that person because they needed that. Because what I did for her, it was for her family. And I love the fact that I did that. It wasn't about me doing it and saying, it, oh, you know, it's all about character. Because character shows when you do different things and other people don't have to know about it. And I love that about myself. When I know I can be in a situation because God will put so much stuff in, into your life. And it was just like, remember when you had to rob Peter, pay Paul to say hey to Philip. You know, and it's like, oh, yeah, that's the piece for me. You know, it be those situations like when I give you a, a you know, I'll give you a band or two or three or four. What are you going to remember? You remember those, you know, remember those people just just up and give somebody stuff, you know, or different things. And, I, you know, I, I said before, I love when people um, do the videos. It, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like a double-edged sword. I love the fact is when people, when they, you know, some of these influencers did it. Because I remember Jasmine and Alfredo did it one time. You had me in tears where they went. I guess they were out in California somewhere. I think it was California or Florida. I can't remember. But it was somewhere where this woman and her husband were throwing down. I mean, throwing down. They were making, you know, uh, plates. And it was like $5, $10. But, it, I mean, when I tell you, there was some big plates that it was worth. And the food just gave me the itis. And he went looking for her. And he was like, so many people, hey, if you're from such and such area, the Bay Area, whatever, I'm giving an example. Hey, I need you to let me know. I'm, I'm trying to find somebody. And there were so many people that Fredo had. Fred, Fredo and Jazz two times had um, so many influ you know people they influenced by they were like people were looking for these people like hey you know such and such you know and there'll be somebody who's like hey you know we found her and next you know she just moved and, and it was the couple and then next you know um, something came off with their house their, fire, their house burned down or something like that and then her husband got into a car wreck really bad and he couldn't work it was something like that but it was something really you know sad and and you know and whatever and she's just like oh my god i just kept praying and praying and praying and you know he was just like i ain't trying to scare this woman by knocking the door i don't even know if she remembers me but i mean he had about a whole band in there for her it was like about 10 20 grand in, in a plate he's like wow i came to give this you know it's like you gave us food or whatever and um i want to be able to help you out and it was just like him and Jazz went out there and they rolled up in a Lamborghini or whatever it was. And they came out to the house and she was just like, I knew I knew him. It's like, remember we brought those two, three plates from you. I think about four. Because mess went, because he went and ate that mess and went right back and got some more. I know that I said, shoot, we don't been there too. But um, went there. And next, you know, he was like, well, since we cook for you, we want to be able to, you know, give you this plate for you. And she was like, wait, no, no, I can't. He was like, please. This is a blessing. You never want to reject a blessing, especially when it comes to folks. You know, it's like our elders and stuff like that. It was like, you want to reject the blessing if you want to. That'll be like double, triple time. If somebody gave you something, it'd be different if it's, you know, if it ain't coming from the heart of gold. But next, you know, she opened that up and she was like, no, I can't take it. No, you know, no, I can't take it. And I'm over here just bawling like, this is what I'm talking about. I mean, you don't want to be able to put people's misfortune and stuff like that because not everybody want to be on tape trying to sit up here and see somebody giving them something. But it's, it, you know, but it's at the same time, you want to see if you can be blessed like that, help somebody out. Because if you've been in a situation where you've been homeless and stuff like that and had stuff going on and, and somehow in the world God gave you a massive daggone blessing into life where you cannot just provide for your family but it came a million million more or just help people out there and you want to don't don't get greedy with stuff like that because God can give it and God can take it away you know and next thing you know this woman said my husband just got into a car accident our washer and dryer broke our refrigerators on the fritz you know we trying to understand how we gonna pay all these bills and she just crying and you got Alfredo Alfredo and daggone um daggone Jasmine just sitting up here crying 
and all this stuff and he was just going on and on and on and on and on and it was just you blessed that and then he did another one like that he had something to do with food I was like what Fredo Wong's always got to do with food but I, I know he did it a couple of times I haven't caught up on any videos but these ones for like two three years ago and it was very beautiful and it was just like you know give credit where credit due I'm telling hey this is what you know Fredo did this is what the video was you know go go to YouTube and you know go to Alfred it was, I forgot what was the lovely Alfred I forgot what it was but it's Fredo and um jazz two time i don't know if they back together i know before they broke up and then they got back together but anyways where a woman she was making a food stuff for him and it's just like she got into um it was something that she got hurt i think she got hit in a car accident really bad and it really messed her up to where she it was hard for her to work but she was just trying to make money you know why she was out of work you know and stuff like that because she didn't have a car you know and it was just like i think she had a husband or something like that i'm not sure but i know she had a son and she would just be making plates. And I think he run, ran into her at the post office. That's like, this, you never know how you're going to meet your blessing. And he, she was just like, oh, yeah, I make plates and stuff like that. I do catering services. And I think she had a card or something like that. He was like, oh, I would love to, you know, sample some of your food to see, you know, I may want you for Christmas or, or, or Thanksgiving or something like that. And she's like, okay, you know, um, let me meet you here and I'll give you this or you can come to my house you know and she's like I don't do this too often but it was just like it, I feel it in my spirit that I need to be able to do that and she ended up making him a whole plate you know for a party and then she he when he seen how blowed out that was because people coming out like man we don't people we went back for another plate and shoot there wasn't nothing left you know so he ended up making something for Thanksgiving and really paid her hefty like it was like for a thing service it was like probably about two hundred dollars or whatever like that he, shoot, he gave about like six hundred dollars to a thousand you're like nah that food was good I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you I'm gonna show you where your your blessing is is gift with your hands be able to cook I want to be able to give you that and it's like shoot if you are able to do that you go ahead and pay that person only once like about five you know like about a hundred dollars or fifty dollars you get that person about three four hundred dollars and give them what it's due because shoot they don't put you on your back you know the type of food like that next you know it's like I want to surprise your son you know and it was coming Christmas time she didn't have no money you know, she didn't have any money for Christmas because she was still going through that and stuff like that. You can tell she was just crying and stuff. And it wasn't about, you know, trying to trying to play victim to get money. She was, you can tell she was really being open, really being vulnerable at that time. And you wouldn't spend about a couple of bands on us, but, you know, for Christmas. And then he came back and gave the mama something. He's like, well, this is a present he had. You know, and she was like, remember, don't tell him what we about to do. And it was just like, she, she started crying because she's like, I didn't know. He was looking so forward to Christmas that I didn't know how I was going to give him a Christmas. And I just didn't know how I was doing this, you know. And things is just really not good for me right now. She didn't go into it because she didn't want, you know, him to be all up in her business and want to be trying to get something from her. And they said, you know, you know, gave her a couple of stacks too. Gave about, you know, 10, you know, 20, 30 dollars. 20, 30k you know being able to do that and i mean she was just like oh my god and just gave him a hug to both of them they over there crying again i'm over here like oh it was like the damn onions in the room you know my allergies you know and it'd be beautiful things like that that's the mirror of hope because there's so many times in our lives and i'm trying not to get emotional like i don't hold up y'all mm. i mean so many times you don't go through life and you don't know your way out you don't know how you gonna be able to overcome you don't know how these things you're gonna be able to heal from and it hits you deep and it just seems like the more you try to dig up and get yourself out that dirt is always something or somebody who's knocking you back down and it'll be at that point you know these are different things it's like where is God at when all these things happen where is God at when all this happens and a lot of times when we see stuff and I hear that I'm like ooh, I feel it you feel you but I can't question God that's not something I, I'm not in it in it I ain't in it I'm just not gonna do it you know and be those different things. I'm sorry y'all got emotional because I, I know there's many people can can really know that and it'll be different times you know going through different things into your life and you're really trying to understand how I'm gonna get out of this God I'm so dedicated to you I'm trying to be dedicated to my life and dedicated to the cause that you put me in and it's just the fact is how many times you know it's, it's not something that God wants to do this is something he has to do you know for us it's just not the fact is he don't want to hurt you but he has to hurt you to heal you he has to break you to build you back up and there'll be a lot of times where you don't have to trust words for that he's like i'm open for that and i've been called worse you know and I, I, i've been told a lot of other things they don't tell me where i can put it you know these are the different things that i went on into my life that i had sacrificed for y'all 
You know, these are the different things that had to go on in life. But the point is not how many times that you, you don't fail and how many times you got knocked down. It's how many times that you succeeded and how many times you got back up. You were being dedicated. Even when you, I will send you in a certain place of understanding, even when it was the midst of confusion. You know, these are the different things you had to go through. And this is what I needed for you to be in life. Because there's so many people in your situation and they don't see nothing. And then when you can be that reflection of perfection that's imperfected. And to be able to allow somebody to be, this is something I can grow from. This is something I can be able to heal from. This is something I can, it can bring out some kind of love, joy, and happiness and peace into my life. And this is something that's so detrimental. How the heck is this possible? He made it possible with you. Because there'll be certain things, yeah, it ain't even possible. It can't get better than that. Or it'll be impossible. There ain't nothing good can produce out of that or create out of that. And you'll you be that exact one. It'll be that exact one. I just, you know, many videos I'll sit up here and say, you, you, you know, you on the top of the, uh, you know, the, the game game. You know, you're that person, you know, that was built up in a certain way where you had to go through all the worst of the worst in life. And it'll be just like, it'll be all the times that you can be asking God, why me? And he'll be like, why not you? And you're like, excuse me? Come again? You know, it would be like, why not you? This is not, I already had this prepared for you when, even when you were a twinkle in your daddy's eye when he was a twinkle in his daddy's eye. I had this already prepared for you. And this would be that something that is, is just, Wow. And that's all I can say. It can be just that. Wow. You'll have somebody taking the back. You'll have somebody tear jerking. You'll be having somebody clutching the pearls with or without them on. You'll be that person that'll be making somebody's mission totally possible. You'll be a 007, 365, 284, 1738. Be one of those different things that come into life. I wasn't trying to preach to y'all. Just send a message. You know, can't kill the messenger. You know, it's going to be like that. You know, I had to be able to tell that. But I hope you were able to, you know, get something from that. Um, and I would love, you know, thank you for dropping the lines. Thank you for the support. You know, the times you share the videos, the times you email me, DM me. I really appreciate those different things. You know, dropping comments and showing support, especially on the views and subscriptions. is truly appreciated. So, you know, um, even through social distancing. Oh, getting tired. Tongue tied. You know, give out love. You know, light, upliftment, through words, vibes, and frequencies. You never know. Those things really take somebody a long way. And just because you're doing it with no kind of hidden intentions or narrative motives or, you know, anything like that, it's going to take you even further. You know, stay woke on yourself. See your potential in light because the devil truly sees it and he hopes that you don't. So, much love, light, towards your way. And, you know, uh, please, you know, I'm sending out so many love and blessings towards you that are abundant prosperous and blessings of infinite vibes you know i'm just sending out towards your way and you know being able to receive the things you work so hard for you may end up achieving more and i'll send that towards your way so i love y'all so much from my house to yours and thank you for stopping by and you'll see me on my next video so much love shalom namaste god bless peace